Let's fight. All right, so we're in the final four. The last match before this, I didn't even post up. I won 3-1 against a very good Tremor, but the connection was really bad, so the match is very sloppy, and I just didn't think that it was something quality that you would really want to watch. So I skipped that one, and now we're in the final four. In this matchup, I'm facing off against Trey Pound, and I've played Trey Pound more than a few times. Most of the time, I do play against his Jax, but this time he decided to go with Sonya. Now in the Sonya Covert Ops mirror match, this match is all about who can get in first. Sonya doesn't have a lot of weapons to deal with Sonya, and I know this going in. So whoever's gonna be able to get in first and really inflict damage is the one that's gonna be able to win this match. Also in my pocket for this matchup, I do have HQT Predator, and as I go into here, I am thinking that I'm probably going to play Predator, but I'm not quite sure how it's gonna go because I haven't played Predator in a couple weeks. So that's my game plan going in. We're gonna see if we can get in first, apply pressure, and really hold down the pressure game with Sonya, and if not, we're gonna go with HQT Predator. So sit back, relax, check out the matches. my ass. Sonia wins. Round one. Fight.
So Predator didn't work out as well as I thought it was going to. He did a really nice job of keeping pressure in. Also, he was very good at getting in first as far as pressure goes with Sonya. And like I said, it's just very hard to combat that with the weapons of armor that Sonya does have. Trey Pound played very, very well. He played excellent. He had a lot of great conversions. There was one anti-air uh, toward the end where he caught me with a down one and then converted off of it. Also at the end, he was able to convert the uppercut into the forward two back one. And that's really what sealed the deal right there. That was an excellent clutch conversion. It's a really great job by Trey Pound. I'll actually put a link to his Twitch down in the description below. He's a very good player. His stream is one of the most entertaining streams for Mortal Kombat on Twitch, so be sure to check him out. So that's it for my coverage of this tournament. If you're interested in competing in tournaments like this or just watching them, check out FightSessions.com. I'll put a link again in the description. You can check them out. They do throw tournaments from time to time. UA Royale was hosting this one, and he did an excellent job. I want to thank you for that. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and follow my Twitch as well. The link to that is in the description. Also on Facebook, I do post videos of matches that don't make YouTube. So if you're into seeing really cool videos of Mortal Kombat and really great awesome fights, make sure you like my Facebook page as well. All the links for my social media are down below. So again, I want to thank you for checking in. It's Jay Glee signing out and continue to game strong.